Oh, hello everyone. It's Monday morning. Monday the... What's the actual date today? Monday the 8th of April. It's a nice day. Spring is here. And it's a pretty sleepy, slow start to the day. I've not been getting any orders. So it might be one of those days today. But you never know in this game. I've just accepted my first order over on Deliveroo for some donuts, some breakfast donuts. So I'm just on my way now to get these picked up and then we'll see what the rest of the day has in store for us but it's very nice not being all togged up that's the wrong entrance this is where I'm going yeah it's very nice not having three four layers on and this job in the warmer months is a different beast some riders prefer the cold, but I think that's mad. You'd much rather do this job in the warm. Let's go see if this is ready. I forgot my bag. I've not been doing many food deliveries recently, so I'm out of the habit of bringing this bad boy with me. Right, where am I going? We want. Unit four. Prayer room, changing room. Oh, that's cool. Uh, unit four. Let's try up here. Unit f 24 to 36. Okay, it's not up here. Thank you. Okay. Right, mate. Are you? McDonald's, yeah, J just in on your right. Yeah. Yeah, that that rider there was asking me where the where the McDonald's was in there. McDonald's, it seems, have I think they've been doing it for a little while, but have sorted themselves out with some dark kitchens, which is long overdue because the. Uh, so you actually turn I think the service they provide in the in the restaurants for orders is terrible. I don't think they can cope with obviously McDonald's uh, usually very busy places and then when you've got a whole load of takeaway orders as well on the apps coming through it's uh, often carnage and very slow I think people who order McDonald's I think it's infamous for food arriving cold and having to wait a long time so I think the fact that they've got the dark kitchens now is long overdue it's just temporary traffic lights and, and roadworks everywhere at the moment I think someone said it's a budgeting thing councils want to spend up their remaining budget for maintenance or something otherwise it gets cut if they underspend so they there's always a flurry of, I don't know if this is right there's always a flurry of roadworks at the end of the financial year I don't know if the council's financial years are the same as tax years but I guess logically that makes sense 
there's suddenly roadworks absolutely everywhere. But I could be, that could just, that could be wrong. Thanks, mate. We're in. Hello there, mate. Thank nice you. one. Thank you. Do you need a yes, please. Yeah. Three one. Thank you. First order of the day done. My bike uh, passed its MOT the other day, which is always a good, good thing. A bike like mine is only ever going to really fail on something like uh, tyre wear or brake pad wear, or maybe if a bulb is a bulb is blown. Everything else is uh, going to be solid as a rock, really. All right, I'm going to go now and try and hunt out getting another order somewhere. But it is very quiet this Monday morning. OK, we've just uh, accepted a gopher job. In itself, it's a uh, it's pretty poor job. It's paying just over £8, £8.27 to go all the way over to Soho I had to cut myself off there as a, another job came in on the way so that was kind of what I was hoping for so I'd accepted a, a job for £8.27 going, uh, I'm still southeast. I'm in Rotherhithe going all the way to Soho which in itself is not worth it at all but my hope was that it would then I'd be able to pick up some work on the way and that's what gopher is all about really sometimes you have to uh, take an unattractive job to get yourself more work and make get yourself a bit of a uh, a bit of a route going so I shall hope for some more work as well on top of this one before I get to Soho didn't really fancy going into central London today but um as it's so quiet today, I uh, didn't really feel like I could refuse any any work. So central London, we we will be going. I think we are down here somewhere. Right. Let's see where I'm going. Hmm. Did say come to the back of the uh, building, which is round here somewhere. Nothing is uh, nothing is numbered or named. was a right palaver. I don't know what happened there but she uh, she couldn't find me and I couldn't find her. So yeah today's not going well at all from an earnings point of view. That took ages. When it's quiet and there aren't many orders what you don't want is then when what orders you do get to take to be difficult and take ages to do. But there we go. 
I'll be a helmet off and jobby. Let's see. Let's take my sunglasses off. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Okay, and now, as no other work has uh, come in, we might as well head over to Soho. Yeah, I don't think my earnings are going to be great today. But I shall make a video anyway. Oh, come on. bike bay right where I'm delivering to. If only that was always the case. Because the ticket wardens in places like Soho are brutal. So. Oh, they've got a delivery here. Thank you. Okay, that's that dropped off. Oh, it's a lovely temperature now. Okay, so I'm going to go back online with Deliveroo and uh, yeah, hopefully get some more work soon. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and I'm still, still here. As I'm so central, I feel like there's, I might as well just stay put. Whenever I'm, uh, whenever there's moments like this, I either will go get some food and drink, either in preparation for, for later on or, or because it's lunchtime, or I'll just sit on my bike really and uh, watch some, uh, catch up on some messages and watch some YouTube things like that which when the weather's nice is uh it's all right it's a bit more tricky in the winter yeah day like today i'm happy just chilling here watching the world go by well it's now 10 to 10 to 12 and i've still not got any work there's been a few uh, a few deliveries popping up on deliveroo but nothing i've nothing worth doing it is extremely quiet today. Just, uh, I've just claimed a job actually on the, gob uh, on the jobs board. A screw fix with a close drop off, paying five pounds fifty, which is something. And I'm under a mile away from the Islington screw fix, so we're going to go do this. But that is the first job I've uh, wanted to take in in a good, good chunk of time now. Eight six four nine. Okay, we'll get this screw fix dropped off. Only paying five pounds fifty, but it's only going 0 0.2 miles. So that's a perfectly good job to take. And we've got another job while I was waiting in the screw fix. Another job came in, which I need to collect after this one, but it's going all the way over across London, all the way over west. So again, a bit like that first go for job I did. The job in itself isn't worth doing, but hopefully it will lead to more work. Hello mate, screw fix here. Just got to take a snap of it. Nice one, thanks buddy, thank you. Okay. Four miles. This is going over to Chilton Street, not too bad. Quite a big package. But that is why. I use my bag, and to be honest, as it's fragile, 
it's better off on a bag on my back than in the top box anyway. Reckon it would take me about 15, 15 minutes or so to get there. So I'm going to crack on. Dawson Street, a uh, swanky street indeed. Hi there. Got delivery for you there. Let's go take a little photo. Lovely, thank you. Well, that's that one dropped off. Lunchtime. Starving, but um, I think it's going to be a bit, a bit pricey to get something to eat down here. So. No. I think there's a Tesco nearby. Pretty sure there's a Tesco, yeah. Pretty sure there's a Tesco around here. There is there. Sling the bike here. Cup of tea and a sandwich. It is, uh, well, it's nearly one o'clock and I think I'm on around 30 quid. So I'm going to have a nice pause now. Oh, as much of this day has been, so far nothing happening. So I'm going to go on the move again. Well, we are giving up on central London and we're going south of the river now. It's coming up to half past two now and uh, I'm simply not getting any work today. I started my shift at half nine so it's been just about five hours now and uh, I think I'm going to end the video here because no point me continuing with the video really. This has been by far my worst ever day working as a courier in London. Uh, which sometimes happens. Um, there's not always a reason for it. said, you know, I've, I've done this job in total for on and off for years and years. And I very, very rarely make less than £100 a day. Sometimes a bit less, sometimes more working sort of nine till nine to five, nine till six. Today has been, been awful. I mean, I'll, I'll add it up now. So on GoFro I did 25.52 and on Deliveroo I did £4.79 so if we top that up £30.31 pence divide that by it's not quite been by five hours but we'll say five hours that is just over six pounds an hour so yeah absolute shocker but you can't say I'm not honest on this channel um, after this video and uh, it is right to show bad days as long along with the uh, the good days and the average days. I think I'm going to be working Wednesday and Thursday this week as well. I will try and make another video uh, on Wednesday or Thursday. Hopefully show that days like this are, are a one-off. Yeah, I can't remember a day where I've, I've made as little money as this today. I can't remember the last time I made less than £10 an hour. So yeah, £6 an hour, terrible. But yeah, thanks for watching and thanks to everyone who who subs subscribes and likes I'm not I don't ever ask people to you know like and subscribe and comment and all that yeah just not my not my style but yeah thank you for everyone everyone who does it's appreciated and uh, I'll see you in the next video thumbs down today